flathead straight six motor, single barrel carb. But dad drove it around town a little bit, you know, three speed. It's actually not in bad shape. Hey, guys. Hey. I was at the house there. How you Mario. doing? Good. Danielle, good. send us out here. I'm Rob. Yep, nice I talked to, to her on the phone. John. Hi, John. Nice to you meet you. Well, nice this guy. This is Shep. Hey, Shep, Shep how are All you? All right. Hi. Look at that. Big what are you guys beautiful looking guy. for, man? I'm interested in this panel. This panel wagon is probably not for sale. I have a hard time getting off that one, but yeah. that's on my bucket list, dude. Someday I'm going to do it, you know. So I would sell some stuff over on the other side of the show up. All right. Let's go take a look over there. Hey, nice, right. nice meeting you Nice meeting you, Cooper. Go back, back, back to work, right? Yeah. yeah. My dad had a junkyard business, bought and sold cars at a repair business. And when I was young, he said, you know, you ought to get into that demo world. And he got me a couple garages to tear down, and I liked it. I liked kicking the door in and seeing the first thing, what's in there? And I just started collecting everything I could. I think it was sort of born into me to be a collector of stuff. Hey guys, this is a bunch of stuff I brought in. This is iron rail fencing. This come out of a mansion in Johnstown. We totally demolished it, so we saved it all. So you do a lot of demo work? Yes, we're the professional home wreckers. We're <laughs> professional <laughs> home wreckers. I like that. Right? When I look at a job, I look at what I can market out of that project. There's a lot of people that's not well off financially. I resell them a nice front door, a hot water tank, a furnace, just anything out of that house. And it also saves out of our environment. We're not just dumping it. We are recycling it, so that's what we do. That's How long has it been sitting yeah. here? Well, probably 10 years, you know. What do you think, Robbie? Let me think on it a minute. Let me yeah. look around. All this fencing needs to be repaired. It needs to be repainted. I've had this stuff. It sits around till the right guy walks in the door. I love this cabinet, man. This is cool. Yeah. It's all oak. Where'd it come from? This come out of a school up in Prospect in Johnstown. Oh, that's cool. So, wow. Yep. Oh, it's a built-in. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. So this is. So this side's not finished. Yeah. It kind of affects the value. It's hard to. Yeah, and you got to do the match. You got to match it. That's yeah, the hard yeah. part. Hey, listen, dude. Over in that corner, I saved the panels away from it, so it should match. This cabinet is fantastic. It's a great example of commercial cabinetry. The doors are really thick. Everything is heavy duty. Did you find the panels? Yeah, they're over here. The biggest problem with that cabinet is that it's a built-in. This molding would be good. The panels you could put on the side. Right. I mean, it's a lot of work to do that. So what are you thinking on that cabinet? I mean, you know, dude, furniture prices have been plummeted in the last decade or two. It's been uh, really I'd, bad. I'd like to see two and a quarter, somewhere in that number. All right, what about these panels back here? I need these to repair that. So these four panels and that piece, uh, I don't know, 400 bucks, dude. Uh, I'll do it. Yeah? I'll do it. 400? I'll do it, brother. Thank you. I mean, uh, I appreciate uh, it. I just saw the sparkle in Glenn's eyes, like, man, <laughs> I found the two suckers that are going to do something still by the I'm telling you. You finally climbed up our mount. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on. All right. It's like a day-to-day -day treasure hunt. I'm out there looking for rusty gold. I'm looking for the unusual and impossible. It's back roads. It's dumpster diving. It's flea markets. It's people's homes.